Hello everyone, here is my review on the ELERC Twin 30mm EDF Micro A10. The box it comes in is very nice, it's well packed. The cardboard itself is quite sturdy. When you look inside the box you can see that everything's nicely packed in clear plastic bags. Each little group of components are separated. You've got your landing gear, your push rods and Z-links etc in another bag, some glue, some double sided tape and your foam pieces. And also a nice decal set if you want to go that way and just use the white uh, colour as your base colour. Now the first thing that I noticed was that there seemed to be an error in the alignment of the nacelles. Uh, the exit hole for the cabling from the ESC seems to be on the wrong side. So I'm not too sure what's going on there. Uh, whether that was an oversight, an error, or that's just the way they're made and I put them on the wrong way because they only have a half, uh, if you can see that recess mark. I'm just wondering if it uh, stops at the join line. Uh, I just automatically assume it goes into a big fat square. Well, I could be wrong. When I inspected the fuse halves, I thought they had two weak points at the front and at the back of the wing especially since that was going to be carrying all the, the weight and a heavy landing might see the back end snap considering you've got two fan units um, connected to the back end. I decided to put 2 mil carbon fibre rods down each side of the fuse. I recessed into the foam so that the carbon fibre rod actually sat flush with the internal wall off each side of the fuselage. One side, and as you can see in this image, I did it front to back in a straight line one piece. The second half, the left hand side, what I did is I pushed the carbon fibre rod all the way into the nose area, which is a solid block of foam, until it was almost poking through. I uh, still recessed it and epoxied them in and I did the same with the rear end. I used the carbon fibre rod and I twisted it into the tail block until it was almost exiting the, uh, the foam block so that I had full coverage from protecting the nose from snapping and protecting the tail section from snapping off. Uh, that made it very sturdy. Unbeknownst to me, uh, because I've only ever seen the model A10s, I thought the wheel was in the centre and I thought uh, ELE RC had made an uh, error in putting the front landing gear onto one side until it was pointed out to me that no Davey it actually does go on one side because there's this huge machine gun cannon thing sitting underneath it that it has to get around so my bad um, and that's why I centered it for the ESC's I used 12 amp ESC's uh, from Mystery they were slightly larger than the recess allowed so I actually had to dremel out uh, a bit more foam to allow it to seat down into the foam without affecting the exit air of the fan unit. And here you can see that I got a couple of AEO fan cases. I primed them and painted them with light grey from Tamiya, code A2. I also had to make some plastic exit tubes down 85%, uh, so I had a nice smooth exit. Uh, for the fans, they're both pulse units that I used. For the ailerons, I could have gone with the sticky tape across the top, but the sticky tape I have seems to peel off after time you know, with a bit of knocking and bit of flight time. So I used uh, plastic sheet hinges and super glued them front and back. Here you can see the torque rods that I've installed into the ailerons using one 2.5 gram blue arrow servo. All my radio control gear is mounted behind the wing, so I've got a lot of room to play with uh, both battery weight and CG uh, in the front end of the nose. All right, now let's see how she went on the flying field. Okay, this is version two. Now, Nitro apparently seems to know what he's doing, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sets me up for the fall. Unlock myself. <laughs>
What happened there? That's better. Bombing issue. Oh, I've got a lot of up on. Is yours wants a nose down as well? Oh, yeah. I've got exactly what you've got. Yeah. A ton of up. Oh, look at this one. That's what I did. Do you want me to trim anything or you're doing well? I'm doing it, yeah. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. That um, is a violent reaction. Every time I turn, it just dives into the ground. That's... that elevator. Does it fly straight and level? Well, okay, let me turn into the wind because I'll come around. Still coming around. Now I'm just going to light up the wind now. Hands off. Oh, what's the roll? To the left. Yeah. Good call. Probably hugging it on so tight I didn't notice that. Okay. Straighten it. Still climbing. Whoop, too much. Bring it back, Dave. I've lost it. I've almost lost it. Here we go. Uh oh, battery's deep. Now, the landing. Beautiful. <laughs> Hang on, did something come off? Or oh, yeah, the wind it... just popped off. Oh. I only used a um, CA for the back uh, saddle screw. Yep. Um, just in case something horrifying like this happened. 